The IB likes to see this little uh, calculation and rearrangement. Comes up quite often. So here's the classic indicator, HIN, and there's the dissociation of this indicator. It itself is a weak acid. Now I'm going to do some jiggery pokery with this. Uh, I'm going to keep the equation the same. I'm just going to rearrange it a little bit. Erase that line there and put a multiply in. And you'll see why I've done that in a second. So let's say that HIN is green and the IN minus iron, and that's purple. So I have those two there. Now you can assume that when the concentration of those two is the same, you're at color change. When the purpliness is the same as the greeniness, it's at color change. Now that's a bit subjective, but that's, uh, that's an assumption you can make. So those two both cancel which gives me Ka for the indicator is equal to H plus at color change. Well, that's quite handy. So I can work out what indicator I need to use if I know when I want it to change color. And when it changes color, I want it to be the reaction to have finished then. So let's see what that actually means. In this case, the pKa of my indicator equals the pH of the solution at color change. Let me try and clarify that. Here are three indicators and the pKa of the indicators. So what indicator would I use for a strong acid and strong base reaction? Well that's going to finish at pH 7 so I want my indicator to have a pKa of 7. That's bromothymol blue. I want it to finish at 7 so the pKa of my indicator should be 7. So a weak acid and a strong base, well that's going to make a basic salt and water. So my uh, equivalence point is going to be above 7. So I want my indicator to also change color above 7. And so that's phenolphthalein. 